at the end of the day, the impact that we're having on the young people is, is really what we're trying to achieve. So um, the more young people we can impact, the, I think the, the more we can scale. So, so Elephant Ed is, is really sex education for young people, by young people. So it started out by Dan and I at Dan's old high school that he was working at. Um, we got thrown into to teaching a sex ed class and the response was, was unbelievable. Um, I think the students just loved that youth perspective to what we were doing, breaking down those barriers by being able to look up and, and relate to that person delivering the content rather than it being delivered by you know your awkward PE teacher who is a little bit cringeworthy talking about this type of stuff. So that's how it all kind of started and um, yeah, fast forward to today and, and we've rolled it out now and across Melbourne into, into many schools. So we're yeah, hoping to be in around 50 schools by the end of this year. Um, so it's, it's growing really nicely and yeah, on the horizon is potentially interstate next year. So that's probably our next challenge. I think sex education um, is, is, yeah, well, it's everything. Um, it's how we come to be, um, <laughs> really. Um, and I think nowadays, uh, with access to technology and um, differences in pornography and consent and pleasure, these are conversations that aren't being had. Um, and so young people are growing up not knowing the difference between what's right and what's wrong and what a sexual, healthy relationship looks like, what a regular relationship looks like. Um, and we're just trying to have an impact on as many young people as we possibly can. So yeah, it started out as a bit, a bit of a side hustle while we were both at uni. Um, Dan was working part-time at, at our first school that we were in, as it well, was our pilot school almost. Yeah. So I think Dan, Dan was working as a journalist and I was studying commerce law and I think Dan slowly kind of kept taking a leave going from five days to four days to three days and then eventually took the leave to go full-time at the beginning of last year. Um, and I was in a, a really fast-paced corporate job, um, working crazy hours and watching Dan grow it on the side and it just got to the point where I think those embers were burning, it almost got to the point where we're either going to have a crack or, or we're not and Jumped in the deep end. I couldn't resist and um, <laughs> came on board. So since, since March I've been full-time and Dan since the start of last year. Hopefully going into state. Um, we're just rolling it out as far and as wide as we possibly can. At the end of the day, the impact that we're having on the young people is, is really what we're trying to achieve. So um, the more young people we can impact, the, I think the, the more we can scale. Um, yeah, so we've got student workshops, parent seminars and staff professional development sessions. Um, we've also partnered with a few different universities um, to help out students that are coming to um, do exchange here or, or li live on residence. Um, and all of those things combined hopefully are having a, a large scale impact because at the end of the day we don't go into schools and say hey we're here to replace your teachers. We really want to support schools and say hey sex education needs to be something that we can start but you need to take it at home um, and parents need to have those conversations but then also it needs to continue at school once we're, once we're gone. So it's, it's all about talking about the, the elephant in the room. Um, so yeah obviously these topics have been pretty taboo in the past so um, we're really trying to create a, a more positive, open conversation and, and really talk about and engage with the elephant in the room. So that's oh, okay. I thought that was crazy. Crazy. Like, Fifty uh, percent of people think it's because the trunk looks like a penis. Yeah. <laughs> like, so I was, I was looking at the, the, the logo. And I was like, I used to make the joke. <laughs> <laughs> There's no phallic okay, resemblance well, awesome. whatsoever. <laughs> well, some people say because elephants never forget, so we've been grappling with yeah. that as well. The sex it you never forget. But. No, I like I like the uh, the, the theoretical <laughs> spin. The elephant in the room that's smarter than. <laughs> <laughs> Dropping your pants. However, you <laughs> however you remember it is what works for us. <laughs> that's great. Well, we're really proud to have you guys in this space. I think the students just love that youth perspective to what we were doing rather than it being delivered by you know your awkward PE teacher. Dan was working part-time at, at our first school that we were in as it well, was our pilot school almost. Yeah. Um, I was just a sports coach. Yeah, Dan was doing... <laughs> you want to be a teacher? Yeah. 